Hey everybody, Reload here, continuing on with my new exploration character series. Before I jump into the exploration of Nullsec and Wormhole space, I want to talk about the hacking minigame. High and low sec minigames are pretty manageable with the T1 frigate. But when you go out into Wormhole and Nullsec, the difficulty of info shards increases. You start to encounter more difficult containers that typically have better loot. But because they are more difficult to crack open, you are more likely to get them exploded after two failed hacking attempts. So you have to be more careful and understand the correct way to navigate around the defensive subsystems and properly utilize the utility subsystems. So let's get right into it. When you hack the containers, you send in a virus that has its own strength and coherence associated with it. Your virus strength is derived from first and foremost the relic or data analyzer equipment. And then you have an added bonus from the ship you're flying. Any T1 exploration ship will give you an additional strength of 5. And the T1 analyzer comes with a strength of 20. Your virus coherence is more like a health bar of your virus. The coherence is once again derived from the analyzer equipment, as well as the level of either hacking or archaeology skill. The T1 equipment gives you 40 base points of coherence, and the skill increases that by 10 points with each level. And you can further increase the coherence by installing rigs on your ship. The defense subsystems that you uncover also have their own strength and coherence associated with them. So their strength indicates how much of your coherence is lost every time you attack that subsystem. And their coherence shows how much times you have to attack the system before it disappears. For example, in the case of this firewall subsystem, it will take me 4 turns to destroy it. And in return, my coherence will be reduced just to 10 points. That's the cost of clearing a typical firewall. Since every game is different, it's impossible for me to showcase every single way that you can successfully hack a container. But I can show you what to do when you encounter each defensive subsystem. When it comes to the firewalls, the basic defense system of every container. Don't bother attacking them unless you've run out of nodes to uncover. The antivirus subsystem is also ubiquitous to all containers. It has a very high strength. Just like with the firewall, avoid attacking it unless you've run out of nodes to uncover. And if you do have to attack it, I suggest that you use the kernel rod utility or the polymorphic shield like in this case. The polymorphic shield protects your virus from the attacks for the number of turns that is shown on top of the icon, which was two in this case, and enough to destroy the antivirus without taking damage. On the other hand, the kernel rod decreases the coherence of the defense subsystem. So decreasing the coherence of antivirus in half, it let me destroy it in one turn. When it comes to medium and hard nodes, you will encounter a very pesky defense system called the restoration node. You have to attack it as soon as you see it. It has a very high coherence, so use the kernel rod on it or the self-repair utility. Each turn the restoration node will increase the coherence of a random defensive subsystem, so you have to get rid of it fast. And finally, on the hardest difficulty you will find the virus suppressor. When it's uncovered, it reduces your virus strength. Typically, it drops by 15 points. With your virus strength so low, you really can't do anything. The best tool against the virus suppressor is the secondary vector utility. It automatically reduces the coherence of any defense subsystem by 20 points per turn for 3 turns. Which is enough to destroy the virus suppressor, as long as you have 3 turns to make. Which I unfortunately didn't in this case. Of course you can also destroy the virus suppressor with other utility subsystems. It all depends on what you have available to you at the time. This time I successfully used 2 kernel rods. When you encounter a node with a hidden subsystem, the so-called data cache, my advice is to leave them uncovered, unless you have no other way to go. More often than not, these will contain a defensive subsystem that will only make things worse. Of course, now and then the gamble pays off and you actually get a utility subsystem. One more tip that I can offer you is not to rush ahead when uncovering the nodes. Collect the utilities before moving on to the next node, or you run the risk of needlessly having to attack the defensive subsystems in order to regain access to the utilities. Just to recap, I suggest that you leave the firewall and antivirus subsystems alone until you have no other way to move on the grid. Don't attack the antivirus unless you can use a utility like a kernel rod or the polymorphic shield. And if you have a kernel rod to spare, you can use it on the firewall to reduce its high coherence. You have to attack the restoration node as soon as you encounter it. If there are no other defensive subsystems on grid, you can gamble a little bit, uncovering a few nodes in hopes of gaining access to a utility. But the restoration node has to be destroyed as soon as possible. When it comes to the virus suppressor, you have to be careful around it. It's very tough to attack anything because of your reduced virus strength. Use the utilities at your disposal to remove the virus suppressor. 
the best utility for that is the secondary vector. Speaking of the utilities, you have four available to you. The self-repair is very self-explanatory, and you should use it up at the first opportunity, to leave space for the other utilities and to keep your coherence at maximum. The kernel rod is very useful against defense subsystems with high coherence. On the other hand, the polymorphic shield is very useful against subsystems with high strength. The secondary vector will passively reduce the coherence of any defense subsystems by 20 points per turn for 3 turns. It is best saved against the virus suppressor, and it's only found in hard containers. So if you uncover one, be prepared to navigate it carefully. So that is the hacking minigame in a nutshell. I hope that armed with this knowledge you will have less containers exploding on you, even when flying in a T1 frigate in Nullsec and wormhole space. I'm actually already in Nullsec, because this is where the hard and medium containers are found, although you can also find medium containers in low sec. Traveling to and exploring Nullsec is going to be my next episode, so stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for the hacking minigame, please leave a comment. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Safe exploring out there in EVO Online!